Hey guys, it's the Coaster Crusader, and in my last review I talked about Steve Carell doing an amazing performance. And in this review, I want to talk about how he completely went down the shitter with the incredible Burt Wonderstone. This came out much earlier this earlier this year in the beginning of the year, but I never got around to seeing it until now. Because if a movie doesn't really, like, really, really attract me, or it's a really big surprise to go see it, then... I never end up going seeing it because I'm not made of money. I'm not a money tree. So I usually just rent them when they come out. It's so much cheaper. It's like 99 cents and you can watch a movie. Um, so, yeah. So I decided to... Nothing really seemed good. And I was wanting to watch a movie. So I rented The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. Oh, God. God, God, God. This is probably the worst movie I am reviewing on this channel because Grown Ups 2, I reviewed it. It was terrible, terrible, terrible movie. And I think this just sits right below under it because there is literally, while Grown Ups 2 had some funny scenes and some redeemable value, this movie I did not laugh once. I did not enjoy it at all. There was nothing redeemable about this movie. Like I just not see anything good. I didn't like any of the characters. I didn't like any of the acting. I didn't like the story. It was just terrible. And so that's a great way to start the review. So I'll get into the plot right here. Um, basically, as a kid, Steve Carell's character Burt Wonderstone uh, meets Steve Buscemi. Is uh, well, Steve Buscemi? What the hell? Um, Anton Marvelton. Um, and they both became very best friends, and they started this magic show, and 20 years later, 30 years later, they're doing the same shtick. And, um, so basically this new magician played by Jim Carrey named Steve Gray, who's one of those, like, cool, tech ma new magicians that are really damn annoying in real life, and that uh, I definitely showed here. Um, so... Yeah, um, comes in and he steals their show. So they are basically forced to go on the streets. It's every, there's, there's so many, it's so formulaic. It's just rid ridiculous. There is nothing, nothing new with this movie. Um, okay, I guess I can get in. Alan Arkin was in this movie. That's right. Alan Arkin was in this movie. Guess what? He was in this movie. And... Really? Argo? First you get Argo, and then you got the incredible Burt Wonderstone. Really send yourself up for the next Oscar right here. Um, so, Steve Carell. You're, you're really funny a lot, and you can do really dram good dramatic performances like Crazy Stupid Love and um, The Way Way Back. But you can you do really great comedy performances like The 40-Year-Old Virgin and Anchorman. And... You're great, but you just didn't do anything in this movie. You kind of just stood there and was there for the ride. You just kind of showed up and be like, Hey guys, I'm going to sit in the puzzle piece that is the protagonist of this movie and just kind of sit there and like show my face on the screen. That's literally what Steve Carell did in this movie. Show. And Steve Buscemi, I think, was a little bit better than Steve Carell. There was one scene that I enjoyed in this movie that was based centered around him, and that's it. That's the only scene I enjoyed in this movie because it was relatable. And other than that, nothing. He was he was almost just there too. But I understood he did something more, a little bit more than Steve Carell. Uh, Olivia Wilde, she looked good. That was the only reason there. She was there as eye candy for all the guys watching this movie. Jim Carrey sucked dick. I mean, I, I literally just wanted to him to be off the screen every time he was on the screen. Um, the late James Gandolfini didn't really have a big role in this movie. He was kind of there a little bit, nothing else. None of the other characters were there a lot. Um, I mean, I can't really talk about more performances. Like, like Steve Carell was just kind of pasted in there as his face as the cover face in the movie. That's that's basically it. The story is just... just uh, There's no laughing scenes. I have not laughed once during this movie. I just kind of sat there and watched. I mean, even dramas, I laugh. Like, like, like in movies, like drama movies, like Goodfellas, and even... I, I'm always going to bring this back up right now. Um, Moonrise Kingdom, like I brought up in the last movie. Those movies, they were drama, dramedies, dramas, and I was laughing out loud in those movies. And then you get to a movie that's supposed to be a comedy, and you do not laugh once. You know something's wrong. I mean, this is up there with The Master of Disguise. 
I mean, seriously, this was really, really, really bad. I was expecting something good, like Blades of Glory. That was a funny movie. But no, you got the incredible Burt Wonderstone, which was literally no good performances, no good acting, no good story, no good jokes. The magic tricks even sucked. And it was a movie centered around magic, but I think that was the purpose that they were supposed to be bad tricks. I think that was the point of the movie that I was trying to get. But if you can't get a good substantial movie, you can't get good you can't get good you have to get good magic installation and transmitter nothing it was just it was just crap pure another crap it's just putting dog shit on a plane and be like it's it's basically just saying that the, these guys are sitting there in this office okay we need to create a film right now to get some more money for our studio um let's get let's get steve carell there um he's he's funny audiences like him steve buscemi um, he's a great actor, so we'll get him in there, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get Count Olaf. Yeah, that's, that's the movie. And that's the Incredible Worst Son of what I would give even lower than Grown Ups 2, which I gave a 4 out of 10. I'm going to give this movie a 3 out of 10. I shouldn't even be, I should be down, I, I would be down at 1, but the one spot is served for those like my, those movies, those those movies. I, I I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it some benefit of a doubt. A three out of ten. That's just just so sad. Um, IMDb gave it a six, five point nine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing there? Um, that's what I gotta say. So I guess that's my review. Thanks guys for watching this shitty movie review, and I guess I'll see you guys later.